Whoa. What are we doing now? Welcome back for more Thousand Year Door. I'm guessing this is like an interlude thing. We get a peach interlude, right? We get cameras. Okay, so it is a peach interlude. Cool. From Paper Mario 1. We got those weird thingies. I forgot. I don't remember. Oh, wait, there's that guy from the first episode that we beat up. That purple guy. Oh, great. Accelerated goddess. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Yeah, so she was ordered off eBay. Whoa, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where uh, told us where the map is? I'm sure they're trying to get information out of her too. Princess Peach, she will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We excellent. Okay, so you guys are excellent. We excellent are not all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we're quite nasty. Well, obviously, I mean, just look at them. Oh, they even have their own trademark sign to gross avenues report at once. You know the crystal star we thought? Maybe Hotel High? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated the Hotel, could you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to see. There's more to see according to the report. It was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh no! <laughs> I see, so you know of this Mario, hmm? Do you? Hmm? This fool matters not at all. I'll know about him before long, I promise. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And then, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be wrong. You got it, sir. Man, they really have, do have their own trademark thing that they like to do. Okay, this camera is something a little way too out. Well, I'm more crumped. So that's his name, Lord Crumped. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll, f he'll find the Christmas Star while hunting in Bodily Woods. He must return there immediately and hasten the evacuation. It must not fail. What is it? Oh, yeah, Roger goes. And, I'm, and with that, I'm pow. And with that, pow. I'm gone. He tries to act all cool, but he's not. I wonder if something would crump the that of alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. X not, it's some new. You rang, dude? I mean, sir, you rang, sir, you are this dude. You are sir, sir. Shut up. Go get the shadow signs over there. The shadow signs, sir, but they. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. This is taking three minutes, seriously. The Honorable Chorus. The Honorable Chorus has need of us? Then we arrive without their life. Oh, that's hideous. Those. Those two with the yellow and. Well. The, that. Whatever. What? Hey, hey, hey. Pray tell. Pray tell. Did the princess tell you where the map is? Still you talk about it. I would have already had it if you snatched it from her earlier. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do is do now is the is find this Mario and say, map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. And must must I remind you that map is vital to the X not plan. I'll allow my men to prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, for now, hear me, Baldum. You shadow sirens must take care of this troublemaker. Wait, hey, hey, fear not, sir, sire. I, Belden, shall seek return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Come on, we're gonna jump in. Go. Go. <laughs> Go. Words of intelligence. What is this? Is this a computer game? Are we playing a computer game seriously? Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe we cannot. Again, Mario tells us the three words said again. But hang on a moment, where in the world am I? Anyway, it's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let I wish I could at least let Mario tell us no I've been caught. Well it wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so we're playing as Peach. And the theme is pretty cool too. I like it. What does this do? What a lovely shower, no subs. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Or whatever. What's soap scum?
She hums the print the Mario 64 castle thing. Ah, he knew. Even the towel was made out of paper. I guess I should expect it and address too. I should expect it from a Mario game. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Wait, they had this thing in Super Paper Mario where you could like go talk to someone and switch your hair. And yeah, I don't know why they have that feature if um she uh if uh they instantly leave in the load zone. But it is cute. It is very cute. Wait, it doesn't look like anyone's look like anyone's around. I mean hmm. She moves a whole lot faster than she did in the, um, in the old Paper Mario. How do I keep making these doors open? How long? Yeah, it's very long. Oh. Hello, oh, Princess Peach. Huh? Who said that? Who are you? How I'm using Iron Mike before your eyes is a laboratory's main computer. I am called Tech X. You many call me Tech, you may. Sir Gorus created me to be the one perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Gorus, wait, he's that awful dumb-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Gorus is not awful, he's a very great person, he is marvelous. Well, I don't think so, but I doubt he'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure, an unusual program division occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated that your image. Also, an identified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran a diagnosis a problem. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion as no prejudice. Pre- pre whatever that word is, cause an unknown. I, I, the perfect computer. I was diagnosed this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I let you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me to know more about me? Could that, could it be that you know it's impossible, it can't be, you're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer, I am perfect. There should be not, there should not be anything I, that I do not know, understand, please. Well, you know, maybe it's possible that you're well, you're in love with Love, what is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain it? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, he'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. I mean, it's fun. I have definitions for these words, but my crap program is, in, is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's, some, love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Prison speech, will you teach me to feel love to this thing called love? Why you're a computer? Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That's why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you wish, such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You, you ex-jerks kidnapped me and like common Koopas and now you call me in here to ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. No grab my which is hot. Why should I believe you? Man, Peach has got the right idea. I understand you're angry. That emotion I comprehend it. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There's no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That's why you would just continue teaching me out with any wishes. Do you understand me? Peach, Peach, don't tell me your wish. I'm sure you're okay. Well, here goes. Can I talk to you? I mean, this is not the better. Yes, of course you may. Okay, you can use keyboard. You need this keyboard, or you have to give it a shot. Man, this entire thing is taking nine minutes. Or almost ten. Send attack. The message has been sent. If you go to the time, you can return to the room. I'll ask you something. You're a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. Seriously, this computer is so weird. Pfft, love. We can't save, so we just forget it. 
Oh no, we got peach heads. The decapitated peach. Oh wait. Oh, is this Bowser's castle? I'm guessing it's Bowser. It's dark and has lava everywhere. Yeah, this is most likely Bowser's. Yeah, it's Bowser's castle. It's got Hammer Brothers and everything. Man, Koopa Trolls look cool in this game. Um, I'm guessing it's Kami Koopa. No, it's Bowser. His animation is a little bit. He's a little bit slouchy in this game. So, Kami Koopa apparently called it in. Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the Pussy High Kami Koopa will arrive. Okay, I'm liking the theme so far. Kind of. We can let Beat is fire back. Can we breathe fire? Let me take this. No, you're invincible. Oh, okay. Oh, Bowser's Castle. 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 Uh, whatever. Let's just go over here. Man, this is so cool though. We get to breathe the fire. Oh, I see a giant Bowser poster here. Ooh. Oh, there you are, Kami Koopa. Our Bowser. Huff. Huff. I already have told you. Why you call me here? Please don't call me. Just don't be so impatient. Um, maybe because of that. Why that's gone? <sighs> Am I Mario's baby killer? <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Jeez. Uh, he's hunting treasure. He's going to search for jewels. I want him. That's what you're going to be researching. Yeah. Do you like fried eggs? Do better than Ah, air hand. I'll pick me you more and this is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always there all good because of you plans always go off. Ah. Mumble. My Bowser. Why? Tell me. I'm afraid you don't have that information yet because if you still couldn't have done the mice or sense of whatever. Where is he going? There's nowhere else to go. Where did he get that from? There was no door. Okay, so it looks like we've got Mario, Rodas, and Bowser. We're all after the Crystal Stars. Nice. Just makes it a whole lot easier. Finish your stuff. Cool, so now I'm gonna go with Mario. Oh, um, yeah, that's right there. I'm gonna travel with Mario. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna come back strong with a strong couple of this Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, this is. so friendly. Let's head back to Oak Park. Anywhere? Yep, we got it. That's what the book says. Yeah, yeah, but come on, let's go. Now, really quickly, I want this. Let's make our way to... Also, this guy's a Bulbulb. They're, now, they're not called Bulbulbers, Bulbul it's just what that guy's name, Bulbulb. He's actually playing with the sequel to Paper Mario 2, which is what we're playing right now. So that's me! I'm in the game, guys! That's so cool, I'm in a video game. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's from Princess Peach about the Crystal Stars. Or less, okay. We're gonna have time to deal with you, Roomba. Okay, then next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we'll make our way back to the Thousand Year Door and start Chapter 2. Later.